Hey, what's up, GV Christian families? Pastor Steve here again with a quick word from the Word. The book of Romans, one of my favorite books in the Bible, written by a guy named Paul. And in chapter 7, man, he's full of doo-doo. And here's what I'm going to tell <laughs> Listen, sometimes we make choices, we go places, we do things that just are doo-doo. They do us wrong, do others wrong. They make us full of doo-doo. They surround us with doo-doo. It's like we stepped in doo-doo and doo-doo's everywhere. You know who can relate with that? That guy named Paul who wrote Romans. In fact, in Romans chapter 7, this is his doo-doo passage. This is what he says. He says, I know that the law is spiritual, but I am unspiritual, sold as a slave to sin. I do not understand what I do. For what I want to do, I do not do, but instead what I hate to do. And if I do what I do not want to do, I agree that God's law is good. As it is, I no longer am myself who do it, but the sin living in me that does it. For I know that the good itself does not dwell in me. That's my sinful nature. For I have the desire to do what's good, but I cannot do it. For I do not want to do the good I want to do, but the evil I do not want to do, this I keep on doing. Now, if I do what I do not want to do, it is no longer I who do it, but the sin living in me that does it. So I find this law at work in me. Although I want to do good, evil is right there with me. For in my inner being I delight in God's law, but I see another work in, law at work within me, waging war against the law of my mind and making me a prisoner to the law of sin at work within me. Yikes. Listen, I think we all can relate to Paul when he says, I continue to do what I want to do, what I continue to do what I do not want to do, and that which I don't want to do, I do it. I think we all do things we don't necessarily want to do and we aren't proud of. I think the things that we desire to do, we don't always do them. But I love how Paul brings this home. In fact, I'm going to read that same passage from another translation real quick just to get a better, more well-rounded picture of what he's saying and then hear his response. It says this in the New Living. It says, The trouble's not with God's word. For that's spiritual and good. The trouble's with me, for I'm too human, a slave to sin. I don't really understand myself, for I want to do what's right, but I don't do it. Instead, I do what I hate. But if I know I'm doing what's wrong, this shows I agree that God's word is good. So I'm not the one doing wrong. It's the sin living in me that does it. And I know that nothing good lives in me. That's in my sinful nature. I want to do what's right, but I can't. I want to do what's good, but I don't. I don't want to do what's wrong, but I do it anyway. But if I do what I don't want to do, I am not really the one doing wrong. It's the sin living in me that does it. I've discovered this principle of life, that when I want to do what's right, I inevitably do wrong. I love God's word with all my heart, but there's another power within me that's at war with my mind. This power makes me a slave to sin that is still within me. And here's what he says, Oh, what a miserable person I am. Who will free me from this life that is dominated by sin and death? His answer, that's what changes everything. This is what he says, and this is what I want you to hear. Thank God. The answer is in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Here's the thing, you guys. None of us are perfect. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. Your kids aren't perfect. Paul, who wrote half the New Testament, wasn't perfect. We do things we don't want to do. We don't do things we want to do. So what is the answer? We're st in, 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 in this miserable life of sin and brokenness, what is the answer? Jesus Christ. Thank God for Jesus. Can we pray together? God, thank you for your son Jesus, who you gave. You loved us so much that you gave your one and only son so that we wouldn't have to die, we wouldn't have to be trapped in sin anymore, but we could simply trust in you. Help us now, Jesus, to know that your salvation does not come through what we do and don't do, but simply trusting in you. We love you, Jesus. It's in your name we pray. Amen.